Hi all, welcome back to Friend of Health. So today in this video, let's continue with obstetrics and gynecology questions from 2019 AIPGT question paper. So let's move to the question. The first question is, fetal pole and cardiac activity can be detected by transvaginal sonography by option A 6 weeks, B 7 weeks, C 10 weeks, D is 12 weeks. Now, what is the answer? Yeah, answer is 6 weeks. So, here what I am going to do like, first of all, I will give you some introduction regarding fertilization, implantation and also some important weeks during gestation which includes particular events which, which all happens inside mother's womb. So that you can write it in a chronological order which will be helpful for you for your examination. Suppose this is our uterus, this is our uterine tube and this is vagina and cervix. So on day 14th after ovulation the ova is released. Okay, so the ova is released. If suppose the ut female uterine cavity, I'm sorry, if female vaginal tract is with the sperm, if one sperm get a chance to fertilize this ova, then this whole process is called as fertilization. So this ova is fertilized, one sperm penetrates this ova and then forms a cell called zygote. So this stage, the zygote is in one cell stage. So here are a series of events that like takes place here. This event is known as cleavage. Now the ova which is released before this, one more thing that we should see here is the ova or oocyte which is released is having a protective layer called zona pellucida and a cluster of cells surrounding this zona pellucida is known as corona radiata. Okay, clear. Now, after fertilization, zygote is formed. This one cell staged zygote undergo this cleavage into different different cells. So the first cell formed is two cell stage, then it goes into four cell, then it goes to eight cell and finally into sixteen cell stage and it looks like a mulberry and it is called as morula. Morula. Okay. So these many events these cleavage which takes place within four days the interesting thing that you should note here is like all these events takes place within the zona pellucida and also there is no change in the cells size only the number of cells changes here and our zona pellucida is still intact all throughout this cleavage phase again this 16 cell staged cell undergo division into 32 cell stage and this cell is known as blastocyst. So these many events until blastocyst takes place within 7 days. Okay, so these series of events is known as cleavage and this 16 cell stage is known as morula, 32 cell stage is known as Plastosis. Again, now what is the main thing which, which we left here? Yes, implantation. When did this take place? Yeah, on the day 7 after post fertilization period. However, these plastosis, when it goes for implantation, one more change happened for this. What is it? Yeah, this layer of zona pellucida will be disintegrated or it it comes out from the zona pellucida. So these cell without the layer of zona pellucida, 32 cell staged blastocysts will be implanted into the uterine cavity. So into the uterine cavity, this zona, uh, this sorry, blastocysts get implanted without this layer of zona pellucida. So on the seventh day. So you can expect any question from this. So one question I found in 2014 Kerala MD entrance was at what day 16 cell staged morula comes so at what day yes on fourth day after fertilization 
Now let's move on to those particular events that takes place inside mother's womb and you can surely expect some questions from this part okay so let's note it down in a chronological order so it will be easy for you to memorize and revise for your examination so first thing is like placental circulation is established from 18 to 21st day of intrauterine life next one is Fetal stage starts from 9 weeks of gestation onwards. So fetal stage, when we can say that the child is in, the baby is in fetal stage, that is from 9 weeks of gestation onwards. So, so one more thing related to this one I can tell you is like, so here there are some terminologies like neonate, then after birth there are some terminologies like neonate, infant, toddler, preschooler etc. I know you are aware about it but still we can correlate it here and we can write it down together with this so that it will be easy for you to memorize. So when a baby is called as neonate, right from the birth till the 28th day of, till the 28th day. So this neonate itself is again divided into two periods like neonatal period is divided again into two periods. One is early neonate and other one is late neonate. After neonate, next period is infancy. So from 28th day till 1 year, a baby is called as an infant. Isn't it? Then comes toddler. From the 1 year till 3 years of age, a baby is called as toddler. From 3 year till 6 years of age, a baby is known as a preschooler. So these many things you can write it down together with fetal stage. So fetal stage starts from 9 weeks of gestation. So next coming to the next point. Fetal breathing movement. When it starts? From 11 weeks of gestation. Next point is fetal circulation. Fetal circulation starts from 3rd week of intrauterine life. So this point you can write after placental circulation. So you can if you write it in an order it will be easy for you to read. Corpus luteal function is taken by placenta from 12 weeks of gestation. Keep a note on this. Corpus luteal function is taken by placenta from 12 weeks of gestation. So you got these many points. Now let's move to another thing regarding ultrasonography. So first point is gestational sac. Keep a note on this. This is one of the repeatedly asked question. So gestational sac is visible from 4 to 5 weeks of intrauterine life. Next one is fetal limb buds. When it is visible? It is visible from 7 to 8 weeks of intrauterine life. Next one is heart action. Heart action is from 5 to 6 weeks. So you can write it like gestational sac is from 4 to 5 weeks. Heart action is from 5 to 6 weeks. Next comes limb buds. So this also if you write it in an order it will be easy for you. So one question related to this part is like fetal skeleton which is seen through a good radiograph by which weeks of intrauterine life. So the answer is it is seen as early as 16 to 18 weeks of gestation. So the question is like when did the fetal skeleton can be visualized through a good radiograph so it is from 16 to 18 weeks now let me tell you something related to fetal heart rate so fetal heart rate can be observed through a pinard fetoscope from which week onwards so the answer is like it is seen from 17th to 20th week onwards you can see fetal you can identify fetal heart rate through pinard fetoscope next thing is by doppler through Doppler by 10th week onwards you can identify fetal heart rate then comes through echo so through echo from 48 days onwards we can identify fetal heart rate so keep a note on this so next point I would like to tell you is this is also one of the previous question question from uh, 2014 Kerala MD entrance the question was like secretion from breast become pale from which week onwards yeah answer is from 16 weeks onwards so what is the secretion is called yeah it is called as colostrum so this yellowish pale secretion from best breast is known as colostrum 
so the question you can expect in any way here they ask like secretion from breast become a they didn't ask about colostrum so you will get confused right so you have to read the question properly at least twice or thrice so the yellowish pale secretion from breast which can be seen from 16 week onwards okay so the last question we we are going to discuss is this is from fmt but this is something related to age and puberty etc so the question is like according to jj act 2000 juvenile is a boy and girl respectively less than options are a 16 and 18 b 18 and 21 c 14 and 16 d is 18 and 80 so the answer is 18 and 80 so this is something different and i found this question uh, from a fmt question paper so you can make so you can make note on this so finally let me conclude today's class so initially we spoke about implantation fertilization and little bit about ovulation also so on fourth day the 16 cell stage zygote is known as morula on 32nd cell stage that is on seventh day this cluster of cell is known as blastocyst so on this day this Blastocysts get implanted in the uterine cavity. Next points we discussed about important events that happens inside mother's womb. So one thing you should note down here is like these things you can write down in a proper order so that whenever you read you will get an idea how to memorize this. Otherwise when you write it like 6 weeks, 7 weeks everything in a haphazard way you cannot read it in that order if you write it in that order you can revise it properly when you do one question read it make sure that you will read all the all the important points all the previous question related to that and make proper notes on this so that later it won't it won't be a burden for you so you can revise it in a proper way so that's all for today I will come up with another question from this AIPGT and let's discuss it in detail. Thank you so much.